Hello, good day viewers. Still on NACO 2024 Mathematics Examination Theory Questions. Here is question number 9. And question number 9 reads, The ninth term of an arithmetic progression sequence is 6 to 1, while the 21st term is 145. We are asked to find the sum of the first 48 terms. While the B part of question 9, uh, we are asked to evaluate this definite integral of uh, the function 2 over 3 x squared plus 5 with respect to x. All right, let's get started. Um, to solve this problem, let us write the data first. Um, term number 9, T9 is given. Uh, remember, if you want to find term number 9, or well, let me say every single term, Tn, is equal to e plus n minus 1 multiplied by d for every single term. What about term number 9? That is t9, for which n is equal to 9. This is equal to a, the first term, plus n, which is 9, minus 1, which is 8, multiplied by d. So term number 9 is equivalent to the first term plus 8 multiples of the common difference because d is the common difference here. Um, they said that this is equal to 6 to 1. So this is 6 to 1. We have our first equation. Then term number what? 21 is given as what? A plus 21 minus 1 is 20 multiplied by D. This is equal to 145 according to the question. And this is our second equation. So I would like to subtract equation 2 minus equation 1, right? So we're subtracting equation 1 from equation 2. A minus A is 0. 20 minus 8 is 12. 12 D. This is equal to 145 minus 6 to 1. That is 84. And if you divide both sides by 12, D will be equal to uh, 7, right? So we have that D is equal to 7. Then we need to find A as well. Um, we can use this equation. So A plus 8D is equal to 6 to 1. So wherever we have D, we are going to substitute it with 7. So this is A plus it multiplied by 7 equals 6 to 1. It multiplied by 7 is 56. So A plus 56 equal to 6 to 1. To find A, we can subtract 56 from both sides. Therefore, uh, 6 to 1 minus 56 is 5. So A is equal to 5. So we have D and we have A. So let us apply our formula for finding the sum of terms of arithmetic progression as n is equal to n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. This is the formula. So n is what? 48 according to the question because we are looking for the first 48 terms. So s48 is equal to 48 divided by 2. Multiply by 2 times a, a is 5, then plus n is 48 minus 1 multiplied by d, which is 7. All right, yes, 48 equal to 48 divided by 2 is 24, multiplied by 2 times 5 is 10, plus. 47 times 7 is 329. 329. Together we have 339. So this is 224 multiplied by 339. And once you multiply this, you're going to get 8136. 8136. This is the sum of the first 48 times. And we are done with the A part. Now let us move on to the B part where we ask to evaluate this definite integral. So the B part, 
we are asked to evaluate the integral from 0 to 2 of the function uh, 2 over 3 x squared plus 5 with respect to x. This is equal to, this is constant already, so we bring it down. Once you integrate x squared, you have to add 1 to the exponent. It is going to become 3, then you divide by 3. So this is simply 1 divided by 3 multiplied by x to the power of 3. Plus, once you integrate constant, just attach that variable x. So we have 5x. The limit of integration is from 0 to 2. All you have to do is to plug in 2, subtract, plug in 2, plug in 0, sorry. So this is equal to the whole of this is 2 over 9. Uh, x is 2 to the power of 3 plus 5. x is 2. The minus the whole of 2 over 9. 0 squared because we are replacing the variable with 0 again. Then plus 5 multiplied by 0. The whole of this will give us 0. So let us pay attention to this one. This is 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Divide by 9 plus 10. Right? Uh, 9 times 10 is um, 90 plus 16 is 106. So this is 106 divided by 9. Final answer. So once you evaluate this, you're going to get this. 106 divided by 9, as simple as that. In our next tutorial, we are going to solve question number 10. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.